、えっと、次の、えっと、スピーチがスージーの、えー、インターネットの歴史から見る、えー、を振り返りながら、えー、マスクネットワークを紹介するっていうものになりますので切り替えまで少々お待ちください。Hello, everyone. Welcome to the West Week Conference Tokyo. I'm here, Suji, I'm、uh, founder and CEO of Mass Network. Mass Network is also the house of this West Week, Tokyo,、uh, West Week Conference Tokyo.、Uh, we're doing the bridge、um, between the Web2 and Web3.、Uh, especially, we are working with the existing Web2 platforms to build on top of it. So, today, I would like to share my thoughts about the internet itself. Its past, present, and the future, especially the future that how、uh, it's going to connect it to the great dream, the ideology of the West 3, and why it is very important to not only this industry, but also to the, future, to the whole humanity. So let's talk about the history of the internet. So we all know that the internet itself、um, you know, gradually b e c o m e a t h i n g from 90. 70s, 1980s,、uh, when it's still quite experimental network from the、uh, UPA or DAPA, which is you know, h a l f l y military usage, h a l f l y for for civil usage.、Uh, but right after 1994, 1995, we see IPO of the legendary web browser Netscape, and there's many other technology around it. The Web 1.0, and more specifically, Web Web、uh, become the most important part of the internet. And then、uh, we see the invention of the smartphone and you know, the user、uh, you know, the user interactive technology, such as blogs, such as video content, such as like, you know, websites like YouTube. The Web, Web 2.0 came to, to, the, to the stage. That also t a k e、uh, you know, around 10 years, but it evolved very fast. Uh, within 10 years, this has become、uh, one of the most fundamental things、uh, we've experienced in, the、uh, in, in, in this century. That everyone got a mobile phone, everyone was involved into the Web 2.0 platform. Now we have this password.、Uh, around 2014,、uh, when the Ethereum Foundation uh, uh, founder, uh, Ethereum founder and the, the first CTO, g a m e n Wood, and then later on, the other Ethereum founder, including Vitalik b u t r i n Uh, when they coined the terminology Web 3.0 in this more than,、uh, you know, more than perspective, what is the Web 3.0 referred to, right? What's the difference and why this is important? So let's talk about what is Web 3.0 and why it is important. So when we, when we compare the Web 2.0 and Web 3.0, there's many differences. Uh, even though, from the user perspective, it's pretty much the similar case. And I, I'd even argue that the Web 3.0 user experience is pretty bad right now.、Uh, the main difference is、um, you know, there's many like、uh, buzzword, like you can say, hey, it's censorship resistant, it's serverless, it's never going to go down, it's beyond the nation state,、uh, et cetera, et cetera. But I want to use two words to describe the fundamental difference. Between the Web 2.0 and Web 3.0. So I will say Web 2.0 is feudalism. It is the feudalism, like the Middle Evil feudalism we've learned from the history book, that there's king,、uh, there's kingdom, there's war garden, there's castle, and each king controls its own kingdom. And、uh, you know, the laborers, the users in that kingdom, they learn and they, they follow that king. They obey that game. And they're not allowed to migrate or, or, or move or, or their data asset, they, they migrate their own、um, family freely and easily. And, and it's the digital version, it's the cyber version of the feudalism.、Uh, and and we, we, we can argue that you know, Mark Zuckerberg,、uh, his power already superseding many nation stages because he is the cyber king of 2 billion people. MAU, monthly active users all over the world.、Um, on the other side, Web 3.0, even it is very early. I would describe it as the early capitalism. It's the early capitalism and the early capitalism society and has many features like we learned from the history book、uh, of the early American society or you know, the, the, the early、uh, the, 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 the great British you know, empire and, and many, many similarities. Like, like that, compare that, right? So, the Web 3.0, when we think about what's happening right now,、um, 
first, we see the cross-border payment. We see the migration-free uh, infrastructure of the of the data of the user asset. That is, you know, pretty much close to the early version of the capitalism. And I would like to remind everyone that the terminology war garden that is used widely in the Web 2.0 to describe the mobile application or the platform that you know stop you to migrate, stop you to move around your asset and data. This is a typical um, comparison to the historical version of the of, of the medieval feudalism that there's actually a word castle, uh, you know, run by kingdoms, run by kings. So, and and, and then the the problem of 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 my West three point today, um, you know, the, the reason that this stay the state as a bad word, not really something really happened, uh, uh, is because the the difficulty of migration and difficulty of converting people from the Web two point to the Web three point um, based on my argument, based on my point earlier that, you know, the SWAP 2.0 is the feudalism society in the cyber world, and there's a, a new, you know, capitalism society over there. Why people don't want to migrate? Uh, the reason is very simple. The cost is too high, and it's despite by the old mainstream ideology, the mainstream sauce. So here's two examples that is not really for the what's report, but they use the essential technology is you know regard as pretty cool, um, pretty cool uh, product. Uh, the left one is Telegram, created by Dura Brothers, um, and it is one of successful you know uh, instant messengers can uh, compare with WeChat or WhatsApp these monopolized platform controlled um, infrastructures. And transferring our, our social connection from no matter Facebook to whatever uh, new platform, no matter it's centralized or decentralized, it is very painful. The cost is very high. Even though you have this power, you cannot really do that, do that easily. And, and unfortunately, Telegram do not provide you more efficiency or more benefits that you want to transfer all these you know, connections in social graph or these digital assets. So the cost is too high, it's one problem. And another problem when we think about the Tor, the audio network, which is also described of, as the dark web, as the deep web, uh, people always think about the criminals. Uh, people always think about the dark side of the internet. People always think about like you know these these bad things, bad stories they read read on the paper that they know. Okay, uh, Ross from Silk Road, these bad stories. The mainstream still disbar these hardcore servers, these hardcore technologies, these hardcore Web 3.0 or early decentralized world. Um, and, and I have I have to admit that, we have to admit that just like the early capitalism society, the criminals and those wrong donors, they're the first one to move and adopt these technologies. So that's, that's the thing I've learned from the past uh, before I started Mass Network. So what's the thing we're gonna do to uh, not only us, but the whole Windows industry around the Ethereum, around the Western Point O technology providers, what are they going to do to solve this problem? I think I think the best way is to enjoy the Western Point O. Let the user enjoy the Western Point O, the freedom of the internet and freedom of your capital of your asset on top of the existing Web 2.0 platforms, the internet giant platforms. Uh, it's not really like migrating, it's like upgrading. You stay on Twitter, you stay on Facebook, while you simultaneously have the Web 3.0 power. Uh, you simultaneously upgrade yourself from uh, a slave to a uh, more than digital citizen, a cyber citizen, a Siberian, right? But that's something we believe is going to happen. Just like the French Revolution or what any revolution happened in the history, like the, the revolution happened in Japan as well. You're not really leaving this place, you're reforming it, you're upgrading, you're, you're just throwing up revolution in this place. Um, what are we going to do? So here's a very uh, fun poster we made uh, to, uh, to to convey, uh, convey the ideology, convey the idea of the mass. So we're not saying, hey, we are, you know, we're just uh, leave you guys alone and we create a new world. No, we're going to do something over top. No matter your Amazon, Facebook, Google, Apple, uh, for now, most likely social network is the first target. We're going to be something over top. So 
we're gonna make big companies our infrastructure and use the other what through technology become our lines. What I mean? So first. Uh, with the mass network, you can able to, for example, send encrypted message, you can able to send token, you can able to send whatever ever you want, uh, the website content over top existing platform. Here, the example is Twitter. So you can do that amazingly without being censored by Twitter or any other uh, nation state uh, uh, regulator. And uh, here's one example that I, I'm sending a message to Brave guys, uh, the browser guys, to say hello to them. It's very cool. And with the math network, you can decrypt my content. Uh, this is another example integrated with the math network uh, provided by the RWE, Filecoin, and also Mason network. Um, RWE, Filecoin are both famous decentralized storage technology. So with this decentralized storage file, uh, it can be censorship resistant. You can send file uh, and then send it over and using mass network on Twitter, on Facebook, even on Instagram later on, or even Reddit later on. And again, this is beyond the control of any platform or any centralized uh, regulatory framework. And uh, Mason is a CDM platform we invest. It's doing pretty well that we can integrate. And not only that, you can also transfer money without worrying about the sanction list or KYC ML that is imposed on you based on the uh, monopolized platform or based on the imperialism um, countries. Um, here is the example that we are partnership with Gitcoin. So you can just donate on Gitcoin. Uh, by the way, on, on, on left side is Twitter uh, It's a tweet. And you can donate on Twitter on, on use Gitcoin and using CM and donate some ETH. Uh, again, this is censorship resistant. There's no, uh, there's no way to censor it uh, easily. Yeah. Um, there's another example. Instead of just donate, you can give out, right? Uh, and uh, I believe you've seen Vitalik's uh, opening speech early this day. Um, here's he's testing, testing one, two, three of sending uh, Luna New Year red packet lucky drop. Um, um, like two years ago, 2020. And it's very fun. People really love to see that you have an, you know, like some random job on Twitter. Again, fully decentralized, there's no way to censor or easily more than that. And, and people can just claim the money, no matter you're from, you know, Japan, you're from Korea, you're from Iran, you're from every country of the world, you can do that. And, and we're just one of the provider of the technology. We don't provide a transaction. Transaction is based on the Ethereum. We just provide some you know, source code. And these code are um, reprogrammed by other programmer and they eventually form something like this very interestingly. And, and I believe this can be uh, a great example of mass, what, what mass network can do by partnering with existing uh, stable coin and public chain. So here's another example of multi-chain. Uh, you can claim the red pocket send money on the Binance Smart Chain, BSC, and Polygon, or you know there's many other uh, layer two around there: Arbitrum, XI, uh, etc. Solana, uh, Near, Flow. We partner with all of these, and there uh, is there in a way of integration or being already integrated on on Twitter and Facebook and all the platform we support. Um, and here's the NFT, right? Because if you can send over a fungible token as money, you can also send NFT as a way to trade art and, and trade, you know, send art to your best friend. So here's the NFT drops. You can really drop NFT to other people's Twitter account. And then here's the West Street tab. You can even, you know, bring those West Street technology and West Street content on, on the existing platform like Twitter. Uh, on, on the left side is the Mass Network Twitter account. Uh, check out at Real Mass Network, and you can check out uh, the Mass Network West Street content, our NFTs. Um, and on the other side, there's the um, Constitutional DAO. Constitutional DAO is the initiator of people. And uh, you all know that people is one of the great um, DAO that try to acquire the constitution, US constitution and attend the auction. Even they failed is still great uh, achievement. And here's the uh, constitutional DAO content uh, on Twitter. So here's the West Ridge tab. <laughs>
hope you like it. You can have your metaverse pull up, metaverse event uh, footprint on top of Twitter, which is work too. But it's fine. You are, you're you're migrating to and upgrading to a suite now, right? So here's the another thing we've we've done a uh, move ahead of Twitter. Uh, by the way, Max is also the early uh, funding member of the Blue Sky community. Uh, Blue Sky is the uh, decentralized protocol initiator, uh, lead and um, funded by Twitter uh, founder Jet Dossi uh, in 90, uh, 2091, and we are one of the members. Uh, so we have this cool thing, uh, cool idea of turn your, you know, change your PFP on Twitter. Uh, I believe you already know that Twitter has their sound version. It's really cool. Uh, but our, our version is going to largely decentralize and not only support Ethereum, but also many other chains. And let's keep in touch. So, again, in my opinion, I think the Web 3.0 is going to change the world, just like how capitalism has changed the world, how capitalism changed Europe and the rest of the world, and feudalism uh, as an old fashioned dead uh, social norm uh, was pretty much killed by this revolution. Uh, today, in the cyberspace, this is a great revolution happening. This great revolution should uh, take place in everywhere in the world, including Japan, including Tokyo. And I uh, hope everyone enjoy my speech. And feel free to reach me online. Thank you. See ya. Hi.